Hello friends, welcome to CABPD tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn how to draw the W reinforced beam in a very simple manner and with a short time. Okay, let's go to AutoCAD. Now we are going to draw the LS as well as CS of the simply supported W reinforced beam. First, set the units. You will enter take decimal 0 0.00 precision and unit as millimeter. Click OK. Now take rectangle command. Click here. Press D enter. And here the length is 5400 plus bearing width of 300 plus 300 on either side. So it will be 6000 by 800 mm. Click here. Now take the offset option. Provide an offset of 25. Now select this rectangle and click it inside. Escape. Now take the pillet option, F enter and here provide the radius of 25. Now take the polyline option and click here. Okay. Now select these two rectangles and explode it. Now delete this line and at this end also delete this line and take the line command and uh, draw a vertical line of length 100 mm here here also draw a vertical line of length 100 mm now select uh, these two lines and click on the mirror command and go to the center of go to the center of this uh, rectangle click drag the cursor below click and press enter here you got the lines here now take the offset command provide an offset of 25 mm and click the inside line and click it inside here also click the inside line and click it inside press escape now take the rectangle command Click at this point and draw a rectangle of dimension 300 by 600 mm. Click. Now select this rectangle and explode it. Now delete this bottom line. Take a break line to show the continuity and click on these two points and press enter. Now take the edge command and now take the double line pattern and click here close it now select these things and click on the mirror command and go to the midpoint drag the cursor below click and press enter ok now go to the dimension linear command click at this point and provide a length of 1500 mm click now take the line option and draw one line from here it's a reference line draw a line now again take the line command now click at this point intersection point and type uh, less than symbol 135 degree okay you will get the line at an inclination of 135 degree and move near the line and click it Press escape. Now select this reference line and delete it. Now select this line and click on the mirror command and go to the midpoint and drag the cursor below. Click and press enter. Now take the trim command TR double enter. Now trim this portion and trim this middle portion. Okay. Press escape. Now take the line command and draw a vertical line here from this point to this point. Okay. Now take the offset option and provide an offset of 150 mm. Now select this object and take multiple option and go on clicking here till the end of the dimension. Once it crosses the dimension, press enter, cancel the command and again press spacebar to repeat the same command. 
provide an offset of 300 mm select the object take multiple option and go on clicking towards right okay up to the starting of the dimension once it crosses the dimension press enter again cancel the command select the same command provide an offset of 150 mm select an object and take the multiple option and click here up to the base of the column once it crosses the column press enter now we got the longitudinal section here we need to show the cover blocks also i will take the rectangle option now i will click somewhere else here provide a d in, provide a dimension of 25 by 25 and click here now take the hatch option and select solid and click here close it now select this one and click on the mirror command go to the center point okay we'll move on to the center where it is okay here it is now drag the cursor below click and press enter now we got the cover blocks on either sides now we got the longitudinal section let us draw the cross section okay let's draw the cross section here there are two cross sections at the two sections a and b b now take the rectangle command click here d enter and size will be 300 by 800 mm now take the offset option and provide an offset of 25 mm select this rectangle and click it inside now take billet command f enter and here provide the radius of 10 mm click Take the polyline option and click here. Now take the circle command and click here and provide a radius of 10 mm. Now take the hatch command. Now select solid and click it inside. Close it. Now select this thing and click on the rectangular array command. Okay, let it be four columns. 3 rows and 4 columns now take the script point and move it and move it approximately ok click here then take this point and move it till the midpoint ok we got the midpoint click it here then close it now select the whole thing and press explode enter now delete these two things now select these four circles by cross selection and uh, click copy click on the midpoint and provide an offset of uh, 25 sorry 50 mm okay okay now to show the bent up of the stirrups draw a line from ear to ear and provide a horizontal length of some 25 mm and from the bottom also provide a horizontal length of 25 mm okay now by window selection select these three lines click rotate and click at this point rotate it by minus 45 degree okay now we got the cross section select this one and click copy and click here paste it then select this click on the mirror command and click here click now it is asking we need to erase the source object or not click s yes. now select this whole thing and click on the move command and take this point and take this one as the tracking point click here now we got uh, the ls as well as uh, cs of this uh, simply supported doubly reinforced beam remaining part will be dimension as well as uh, labeling part uh, please check the comment section below the video for the relevant drawing uh, thank you for watching the video